How's everybody doing? It is a lovely Saturday morning here at work. <laughs> Look at all the dust I'm covered in already. First thing in the morning. But I just, uh, I don't know. I felt like just having a little conversation today. Now, don't mind the uh, truck traffic if you hear some. We're just getting started rolling here. But uh, I wanted to talk about a couple things. One of them has to do with porting. So we'll just get started with that. Uh, I have seen some stuff on the book and so forth. A lot of ne negative reactions to people doing light porting work. Uh, it's very discouraging to me to see so much uh, negativity towards somebody taking those first steps to learn some porting. It's very, very, it, it, it's disturbing to me actually. So I just want to say that uh, not everybody feels like they should build something to the extreme their first time. I'm a firm believer in taking baby steps and doing things a little bit at a time, if you know what I mean. It's just, it's the way I am, I guess. I think we should all take baby steps. We learn more, you know? Do a build where you're only doing the transfers and see what happens. Then you know what the transfers do. Do a build where you only do the exhaust. Then you know what the exhaust does. And then combine the two and you get, you know, more. Play with your intake a little bit. You know, it's taking baby steps, learning, see what uh, different changes do and how they react to your build. You know? It's, I don't see any problem with that. I don't. And the negativity I've seen out there, man, there's some people out there that should not be, boy, they're, it's just, it's very disheartening, if, to say the least. Now, now I've been doing this YouTube thing for 10 years, believe it or not. 10 years I've been at this. Uh, now, my, my early work was, well, let me think here. Uh... So in the beginning, I would repair a saw, show a little clip of it, and I'd throw the saw on eBay and sell it. Uh, I was I was flipping saws back in the beginning. That's that's what I did. Bought them cheap, fixed them, and sold them on eBay. That's I did that for years. Uh, now those early videos were probably some of the worst ones you'd ever seen. Many of you might have already seen those videos. Just didn't realize it was me. I think I was I was years into this before I even showed my face for the first time. But I don't know. You know, 10 years I've been doing this. It wasn't until probably the last 6 months or so that I decided to go ahead and try to improve the quality of my content and, you know, start sharing in some of the information that I've learned. Now, I think I deleted 200 videos from those early days because the quality of them was so bad, they would just, they would chase people away. <laughs> they weren't, they would just chase people away. But they were, they were some of the worst quality videos you can imagine. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, the last thing I wanted to mention is I've done a couple live streams and I do plan on doing more of those here in the future. Uh, I just got a few things I'm going to get taken care of first, but there's been a few 
inquiries. Uh, I've had some people want to send me stuff, uh, make some donations and so forth. So this happened before and I, I kind of shut it down. Uh, I did not feel comfortable accepting those gifts. So I, I kind of st started refusing them. Uh, it still makes me feel uncomfortable. But I decided if you guys want to make a donation of some sort or whatever, you can. I'll, I'll take it. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll use it to, to make better videos, you know. I'll purchase a GoPro that I can strap on me and give you an up close and personal video. Uh, I'll get a, uh, an endoscope. The endoscope will enable me to get really tight, close shots, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I'll do things like that. Things to improve the channel. But, you know, I still don't quite feel comfortable doing it, but I'm going to. Uh, if it gets out of hand, I'll just turn it off. Uh, this, this channel is not monetized. You know, I don't, I don't have enough viewers for that. Uh, I'm just a, a little, you know, I'm just a little channel. I just, I do this out of my base. I'm not, I'm not a pro shop or nothing. I'm just a, a guy, just like any of you, really. I'm no different. I just, I have a hobby, you know. I started out on dirt bikes and ATVs and eventually gravitated into saws. But if you're interested in those, uh, if you really want to make the donation or whatever, it's it's right there in the description. It's it's on every video, right there in the description. There's a method to donate. Uh, you won't hear me at preaching about it a lot or nothing. Uh, it's just there if anybody wants to use it. Um, so. I just, uh, I just want to say thanks now, and uh, for the new guys, welcome to the channel. I, uh, you know, I think one of the things I like the most is that I make mistakes, and I show it, and the response I get from the people is, it's, it's, you couldn't ask for anything better. Uh, I mean, I have made some really stupid mistakes. <laughs> And I show it. And you know what? Not only did I learn something from it, somebody else learned something from it. So I think that's the I think that's the best part really is just the kind of response I get from that is it's you know, nobody's making fun of me, nobody's doing any of that stuff. They're like, hey, mistakes happen, you know. Some of them laugh about it, like, yep, I've done that before, you know. It's part of life, but I think, I think that's enough jabbering for today. So, uh, thanks guys for coming along with, for the adventure. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one. All right. Later.